Um, there is in development and it's starting to be used um, an Events Sustainability uh, Kite Mark. It's a British standard kite mark, BS8901 I think, and it's um, to look at how the festivals can be made more sustainable and it's being promoted by the British Arts Festivals Association. Some festivals are already starting to use it and you can self-certify. So if you map what you do um, and then try to improve on that for the following year's festival or whatever, you can self-certify and show what improvements you're making. And um, the definition of sustainability in this context is that it has three strands to it. That the economic sustainability, the environmental sustainability and the social sustainability. Economics is fairly obvious, if you can run your festival more efficiently, you might do that by using less electricity though, in which case you're also contributing to your environmental sustainability. Um, so these things do cross over quite a lot. Um, the other side of it is the social sustainability. If, you're, if your festival, quite often these are small festivals, they might be in a community. They need to involve the community, they need to engage. You might want to um, ensure that people don't suffer from noise and light pollution. And you need to think about laying on bus services so people can come in and with a, a lower carbon footprint. There are websites where they can help you to measure your carbon footprint of your event. And this, this event, um, Sustainable Events um, Kite Mark, is being promoted by the Olympics. The Olympics for 2012 was um, one of its, its selling points was that it was going to be a sustainable Olympics and that events that took part in it would be sustainable in this sense of sustainability. And this kite mark is, looks like now that it will start to be used in Europe as well as an international standard. So it's, it's definitely one to look at and there are websites where you can get more information.